Hey y'all, so this is uh, kind of weird to do. I'm not against getting BRB Beanus this early, to be honest, given the story is linked with Survival of the Beanus. But I also have started and got really far in a fairy galish script since I figured that event would be next, so uh, I guess I'm just stealing some parts of that script to use for this. If this is your first event and twist, this is what we call an event battle, and basically you just read the new event story and do battles to earn patches and crates. That's pretty much it. So we have four new cards. Two of them are gotcha cards, and two are from event participation. In the gotcha corner, we have Floyd and Ruck. SSR Floyd is a Flora Fire Balance Unit. He has dual magic with Vil. He's got buddy bonuses with Ace, Jade, and Vil. SSR Rook is a Flora Water Attack card. He has buddy bonuses with Trey and Jamil. And in the event participation corner, we have Vil and Jamil. SR Vil is a Flora Fire Defense card. He has buddy bonuses with Floyd and Silver. You unlock him after you clear the event story and earn 800 patches. R. Jamil is a Flora Cosmic Defense card. He has buddy bonuses with Rook. To make him a permanent member of your team, you just have to clear the event story. Before we talk about cards and stuff, we need to go over event items because this event introduces mechanics that will be used in basically every single event past this one. There's a total of five event items you'll need to earn. Beans, patches, red crates, blue crates, and yellow crates. Beans are earned from lessons and you use it to unlock the event story and event battles. And then you also, after you unlock the event battles, you use it every time you do a battle, like with, with the previous event. Patches are what you earn from clearing event stories and battles, and you can use them to buy things in the event shop. And just as a side note, um, if you have leftover, well, if you had leftover patches from uh, Survival of the Beanist, they don't carry over, so you basically have to start at zero again. Okay, and then we have crates. These will be used to raise the magic levels of event participation cards, which we'll get to in a second. You'll get crates from doing the event battles. Floyd and Rook can be built like any normal card, so don't worry about them. The same can't be said for Vil and Jamil. For starters, they require a special groovying item. In JP, we called this item Beans Camo, which you can buy in the event shop. You cannot use groovy candy on them. Jamil needs one Beans Camo, and Vil needs three. You can only buy Beans Camo during this event, so make sure you buy these items before the event shop closes. Otherwise, you can never groovy it. I mean, unless we get a rerun, but, you know. For spell level raising items... Uh... <laughs> so I haven't completed building all of my event SR cards, and looking at the numbers of like, oh, you need this many items, Comparing it to Twist Gameplay's tables for how many textbooks you need for normal items, they don't line up at all. Like, it, 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 just completely different numbers. It doesn't line up at all. I had to do some digging and some calculations on my own to get these numbers. They're based off of what mine and my friend Richter's card spell levels are on JP, and then some guesswork looking at, one, the spell levels being multiples of whatever the first number is, and two, looking at patterns of when you branch out from needing only one item to two, etc. So heads up, although I'm very, very certain that I'm correct in these numbers, I might not be. So just a heads up on these numbers. I think they're accurate. They might not be. Yeah. It's going to cost a lot of crates to max out Vil or Jamil alone, and maxing out both is going to be even more expensive. Hi, this is Editor Mari. I completely misspoke when I recorded this a couple nights ago, so I'm re-recording it with the correct numbers. Love that for me. For maxing out Jamil's spell 1, you're going to need 135 red crates, 112 blue crates, and 90 yellow. For spell 2, you're going to need 180 red, 180 blue, and 196 yellow. Together, that's 350 red, 292 blue, and 286 yellow. So, for Vil spell 1, you're going to need 180 red crates, 168 blue crates, and then 180 yellow crates. For spell 2, you're going to need 270 red crates, 288 blue, and then 392 yellow. Uh, together, that's 450 red, 456 blue, and 572 yellow. So, if you want to max out both Vil and Jamil, I am so sorry. <laughs> that's all I can say in this situation. I'm just so sorry. Um, it's going to cost 765 red crates, 748 blue crates, and 858 yellow crates. I can't speak for maxing out both, but I have maxed out some of the event SRs during events. 
I think while doing both is probably possible, I don't know how enjoyable it would be given how many crates you needed and how many times you would have to repeat the event battles to earn that much. There's infinite ways to get all the crates you need, but if you want nice even numbers and no leftover crates, here's my battle recommendations for each crate color in each spell. If you'd like a copy of the spreadsheet, which includes some event calculators, the link is in the description. You can uncap these cards, race card level, and raise vignette level the same way as all the other cards, but if you want to raise spell levels, you can only do it during this event since you can only get the crates during this event. The event shop once again is full of goodies. You can view the full list on the Twist Wiki, which I'll link below in my sources section, but I want to point out that limited to this event shop are the event card copies and the Beans Camo Grooving item. Once you fully earn the event participation cards, you can buy extra copies of them. Phil's copies are 400 patches per copy, and Jamil's are 120 per copy. The Beans Camo item costs 40 each. I would personally make the Beans Camo a priority purchase because you don't get them. Uh any other way. Like, this is really the only time you can get them. So unless there's a rerun, you will never be able to groovy these cards. So make sure you get them. This video was a lot of numbers, but I hope I gave some insight on the event and gave you guys a rough idea of what to expect. I know a lot of people are really freaked out about getting this event so soon, which valid, but I think doing the event in its time frame is totally doable, and if you want to speed through it, you totally can. That might not help with the gotcha at all, but hopefully it takes the heat off of the event itself. Remember to take care of yourselves and take breaks when you need to. I'll see you all later, and I hope you have fun with this event. Bye!